Hey, today I'm going to show you a new unlimited stash box exploit. You're going to be able to stash unlimited amounts of junk within your stash box. This will depend on the item that you use, but for example, I'm going to show you how to stash unlimited amounts of steel. You can do this with a rubber as well. There are other junk items that you can do with this, but I'm just going to show you the steel and the rubber within this one. The first thing we want to do is head to our camp and check inside our stash box to make sure that we are close to being over the stash box limit. And then I'm going to go over to my junk and show you how much steel I have right there, which is 719. So what we want to do from here is we're going to mess with a few camp objects. Specifically, we're going to be messing with the uh, table here. And the reason for this is because when you use the table, it only asks for one set of steel. There are other tables within this that you can use, but I'm just going to show you that you can use this one for now. And you'll want to stack this on top of each other because this will be the easiest and quickest way to get this unlimited stash box exploit done. We just want to continuously stack this until we have 10 tables. Now the reason for this is begin because we're just going to make this process easier and you will understand this shortly. So let's stack these tables right on top of each other. If it becomes a little wonky, you can maneuver around a little bit until that blue highlighted area pops up. Then we just want to get that last one on top, so it's 10, and there we go. So what we do is we go to our blueprint mode, and we want to make a blueprint of this. So let's just blueprint each and single one of these tables until there we go. And then you can name it whatever you want to name it. Now that we have that named, let's go over to our blueprints. If this does not pop up in your blueprint, what I've noticed with Fallout is that sometimes you have to leave the server and join back and then go into your camp pop up that edit mode menu, then scroll over to your blueprints and then you'll notice that it is there. So what you wanna do is once you're back in the game or if the blueprint just is already there, we wanna place down these stacked tables everywhere on top of the foundation. You can do this on a non-foundation area, but I just decided to do this because I think that it's just a little bit easier for you all to see what I'm doing. So from here, you're gonna notice that I'm now storing the bottom section of the table. The reason for this is so that this way we can store it all quickly and then we can just continuously go on to the next step. The more budget that you have available, the more steel that you're going to be able to store within the stash box. And now let's speed this up so that we can continue on so I can show you what you have to do next. Once it is all stored, let's go to the store tab. We're going to scroll all the way down till we find the table. And let's start scrapping that down. As for the scrapping part, you might not be a fan of this, but to be honest, you can get this done within a minute or two, so it's nothing too terrible, and especially if you need that extra weight, or you need to relieve some extra weight off of your character, then you might want to do this. So let's go over to the stash box, let's check it. What do you know? We are over the stash box weight. And then if we look to the left, there's 429. We had 700 at the beginning, and now we took off 200 worth of steel and stashed that within the stash box. And the best part is it only took one steel to place it down, so when you scrap that, it placed that one steel back within your stash box. So ultimately, you're gonna be freeing up some room quite a lot on your character. If you wish to do this again, just rinse and repeat the same steps, place it down, store the bottom section of the table and then scrap it, go into your stash box and you'll notice that you're over budget. Let's say that you don't like the whole idea of blueprinting the objects and you just wanna go in there and get rid of this crap and then go on with what you're doing on Fallout. So what you can do is place down a bunch of items and then once you're done, just simply scrap it. You can do this as much as you want and you'll still be able to have a good amount of weight relieved off of your character. As you see right here, I'm going to go to the junk section and you're going to see that I have a lot of rubber that is absolutely not there anymore because of course I've placed it all on the ground with the rubber mats. Then from there, let's go over to that scrap box and show you what's up. So we're going to scrap it by clicking R and then we could hit space, but I'm just going to click it there. And from there, we'll just open up the stash box and check how much weight has been added to it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give the video a thumbs up. I'm going to head on out. Hope that you all are doing great. Take care of yourselves, live well, and happy glitching. See you on the next one. Peace.